quit, don't quit. Noodles, don't noodles. You are too concerned with what was and what will be. There's a saying, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Arctic. Today I wanted to talk about why this lack of content right now might be the best thing for light spenders and free-to-play players. So, as we know, there's no new content in the game, and I think it's a good thing, actually, that there's no new content. Obviously, the lack of communication is concerning um, to an extent that, you know, where is Capital Games with their position on the game? Are they done with it? Is there some legal thing going on? Whatever that may be. That's a bit of a concern. However, this time that we have available to us is very good. Reason being is obviously you need five teams for raids. Now for light spenders and free to play, a lot of those teams probably aren't up to par to get good, good, amazing scores. You know, how many free to play players have a 2 million chapter two team? Probably not. Maybe one person, maybe like, you know, if you hard focused one team, you could, but I think this amount of time is good for people to catch up and kind of finish their farms and kind of clean them up. It's also very good because eventually there will be a level increase. It'll probably jump from 60 to 65 if I had to guess as all hero collectors kind of um, have those occur, level increases that is. And you know, if you really wanted to be some mastermind in preparation for it, you could hoard, you know, five characters worth of gold and experience. Obviously, I'm not too certain how much that might cost. Do I have any like 55s? I got a 53 here. So, hello game. So like, I don't know. I don't know what the rate would be for 60 to 65, but yeah, so 200 to go from 53 to 60 go ahead hoard a million character xp in that level uh or maybe, maybe it'll be like 1.25 maybe it'll be like 250,000 xp to go from 60 to 65 hoard that stuff if you want and then when it drops instantly get five characters to level 65 and then go ham an arena and climb really fast while no one else has applied those level upgrades yet that's just one thing that you could do me personally I think this is a great time to widen your roster for multi-squad PvP. We don't know when that's coming. Um, assuming I'm not going to talk in the in the stance that the game's not going to continue. I'm, I'm I'm going to you know continue this video as if the game is going to continue. So for multi-squad PvP, you're going to need a lot of teams right now in the lowest division over on Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes in Carbonite. You only need three teams on defense plus ships. So four teams, if you include ships, I don't know how they would kind of translate that over here if they would make it so it's um, like three on three or if it would be four on four. But regardless, four teams on defense, four teams on offense, that's eight teams you need to compete in that realm. And... How many teams do many small spenders, free-to-play spenders have built up? Probably five, maybe six. Um, me personally, I have seven teams at G8 or higher. And they're not all like complete teams. I mostly just have, what is that, uh, 35. I have 35 characters at G8 or higher. So they're probably not ideal multi-squad PvP teams, but I have them nonetheless. For a free-to-play player, they you know, obviously can't compete with that i i don't know where a free-to-play player's account is at i wouldn't mind looking at some free-to-play um players accounts if you guys wanted to share that with me you can join my discord it is in the description down below and i'd be happy to look at your account or maybe just kind of like review it for free i'm not it's, this isn't star wars galaxy of heroes where you charge 50 dollars for a freaking roster review that's that's nuts um i don't think really anyone's doing that yet uh, in this game so i'll do it now for free if you want if you want i'll look at your accounts um just join the discord down below and hit me up in there um but yeah with this amount of time we have we can finish 
our teams and kind of catch up. And, you know, with all the players who might have already slowed down, maybe left, I think a lot of the players who left would return if they showed back up and started putting new content in the game. I don't know for certain. I think this game does have potential to be a very good game. So take advantage of this. If a, if you're if you're a new player, if you just picked up this game a month or two ago and you're like, what the hell is going on? Take advantage of this. There's nothing new that you have to worry about right now. You can catch up. You can get ready for Lord Elrond. You can, I guess you can't get ready for Thorin because Great Goblin and Uders aren't farmable. But you could at least start in that path if you wanted to and work up those characters that will be required for him. So my advice to you is use this time. Clean up your roster. There's there's so much to upgrade that it would take you months to do it. My personal experience in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I use like none of the new content that comes to the game. Yeah, there is some stuff that I'm kind of just given that I kind of use or I was kind of like pushed into it like um, the Zori Bliss is a new character and uh, old Phoenix Squadron Captain Rex. Those are new characters, but I was kind of forced into getting those uh, guys because I got the light speed bundles and I was given resistance and resistance wants Zori Bliss and I got Phoenix and Phoenix wants Captain Rex. So I was kind of like forced in that direction uh, due to like some bundles that they sold. Um, but other than those two characters, all the new content that comes to that game, I just, I don't even focus on because there is stuff. I could, I could play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes for, for months, for probably a, over a year and I'll still be working on teams in that game. I don't know how long it would take in this game really to do it. I, th I think I could, I, I could go six months without new content. Obviously, if there's six months with no content, I think a lot of us would have quit because then obviously the game would have been dead. I think I think people will say the game is 100% dead by sometime, maybe mid-March. I think mid-March is like, all right, the game is dead. Maybe late March, the game is dead. I think if there's nothing in February, then yeah, the game is dead. But utilize this time with, with no new content coming to the game to, to finish, to clean up your roster, to finish those things. Um, but yeah. Uh, I do kind of want to do a video on multi-squad PvP in the future, um, talking about certain teams and just kind of theorizing. If you guys would are interested in something like that, let me know down below in the comments and I can go ahead and create a video if there is enough interest in that. But yeah, that's kind of my two cents on the situation right now. And I know in a few videos ago, I kind of was like, oh, the game's never been fun. That's true to some extent i i really don't i don't enjoy raids at all honestly um but that's all right my kind of enjoyment from these games is finishing farms and not so much spending hours a week in raids so raids aren't raids aren't for me i don't i don't think they're fun but i enjoy other aspects of the game so i think you should as well use this time while it's available i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out